Hey guys, Elizabeth Curly Haired Country Gal here. Today I'm trying to answer the question of can you incubate eggs that have been cold? So I guess this experiment is going to see how forgiving <laughs> incubating eggs can be. Ooh, another good one here. My other takeaway from this is that, let's find out. I'm gonna be posting this video a little bit later. Right now, it's about December 2nd-ish, and a few weeks ago, two weeks ago to be exact, I started incubating some eggs that I had been collecting from outside. So that would be mid-November in Southeast Missouri, zone 6B, and the nights were getting into the 20s, the mid-20s. And so some of these eggs that I collected, maybe we didn't collect right away or we collected on the next morning, but I really wanted to get some started because I'm really wanting to have some eggs or some chicks in the late spring, early summer to be laying and not hatch in the spring and then have to wait till November for them to be laying. So this is kind of a unique situation and experiment. I'm curious to see how it's gonna turn out because not only did I collect eggs that had been kind of cold, but also I, I took them to my friend's house, Bonita, you're the best, because I was gonna be out of town for a few days for Thanksgiving, and then I transported the incubator back here so it was unplugged for a short amount of time, maybe 15 minutes, and then one day I didn't put as much water in it, so the humidity dropped to about 47%, 48 to 55 is kind of normal. So I guess this experiment is going to see how forgiving <laughs> incubating eggs can be as far as temperature and humidity and Kind of shuffling them around so i'm gonna go ahead and be candling them with this this is the container or the wrapper of the candler that i got just from orshland the local feed store and then i'm also going to be using a, a pretty high power flashlight that jared has that he gave me there's 20 eggs in the incubator so i'm gonna go see how many of them are fertile it's been two weeks so it should be really obvious now if they have developed or not i'm going to bring with me an empty egg carton to put in the eggs that aren't viable. Maybe I should bring two just in case. <laughs> okay, so I unplugged the incubator for this to bring it over here, so I'm going to try to be quick. Egg number one. Ooh, you can't see anything through this one, so that is an excellent sign that we got something in there. Number two with my flashlight this time. <gasps> Another good one. Oh look, you can even see it moving around in there. That is great. I'm writing a Y for yes on these. I had been writing a C for chick, but there's some of these that have a C on them already, like this one, because these were ones that were especially cold when I got them from Outside, yeah, definitely nothing in this one. So that's what an egg, just the yolk looks like. That's going over there. Number four, <gasps> another one. Yes, oh look at that, you can see it moving. So far I'm liking Jared's flashlight a lot better. And another one. You just can't see any light coming through because there's a chick in there. Wow, so far, so good. Okay, number five of six. Another one! Yay, this is looking so good. And this doesn't mean that all of them are gonna hatch. Okay, again, wow, this is a good batch. Incubating and hatching out eggs seemed really scary at first. But it is really not too bad. Okay, here's another one. I wrote a C on it for cold. So I'm going to guess there's nothing in this one. <gasps> but there is. Ooh, that's exciting. Okay. Oh, yep. And here's another one that does not have anything in it. All right. And two out of one, two, three, four, five, six, six, seven, though. That's... Pretty good. Okay, nothing in this one either. Nope, nothing in this one. Okay, nothing in this one again. This one has a C on it, so that one had been cold. And actually, the last one was a C one also. That one was cold. 
Ooh, another good one here. Excellent. Another C one. Oh, interesting. This one is, uh, I don't know about this one. It definitely has stuff in it, but there's kind of a weird sack thing going on. So maybe it, on the front of the egg, it does kind of look like the egg cracked a little bit. So I'm going to guess that this one's not going to be alive. Okay, nothing in here. <gasps> Yay, another one in here. Nope, nothing in this guy. That's seven. Okay, yay, another one in here. Out of my last hatch, I had nine hatch. Uh, quite a few at this stage were not viable anymore. Yay! And then I believe two of them had a chick in it, but the chick had died, so it, it never hatched. <gasps> Yay! Oh man, this is exciting. Good. Okay, so out of these 20, seven of them are not viable, and 13 are. One of them, probably at least one of them's dead, but hopefully this will be a good hatch. Hey, if you've enjoyed this or learned something, can you like this video down below? Thanks! And if you want to follow me as I try to raise a bunch of our own food holistically, naturally, subscribe. So that turned out surprisingly well. I'm really happy with the results that we found. My tentative conclusion from this one experiment is that it's a fairly forgiving process to incubate and hatch your own eggs. And here I have the two, four, six, seven that I'm going to dispose of. I'm just going to toss them in the pasture. My other takeaway from this is that a candler is totally unnecessary. That flashlight that I was using of Jared's, like I mentioned, is way stronger than the candler anyway. So, yeah, I don't think you need to get a candler. <laughs> In case you're wondering, I'm using the Nurture Right incubator. There were definitely some less expensive models that I could have purchased instead. Red Giant or something like that. But I went ahead and got that one, and so far I've been really happy with it. <laughs> this is my second hatch. And then, this is day 16, so in another five days, hopefully we're going to have more chicks. <laughs> and by the time this video posts, they'll be probably a couple months old, Lord willing. But hopefully that helps you as you try to hatch out your own chicks. Okay, so today is Thursday, and the kids and I just got home. We left at like 9, 9.30 this morning, and we just got home. It's... 7 14 p.m. It's our long shopping day of the month, and I want to see how many chicks have hatched. Oh, look at that. So far, it looks like one, two, three, four, five, six, I think. Awesome. But I did just notice the humidity got super low today because these were totally empty. So hopefully, that won't cost me too many chicks. Looks like this one's cracking though. This one <sighs> looked like it had cracked when it froze, so I doubt that one's gonna survive. And we'll see if some more of these hatch tonight. I just filled this back up with water. See you later, bye.